and welcome back to the 2018 Granny Square Crochet Along. Today we are making the Juicy Fruit Square. So you can choose to make this as an orange, a lemon, a lime, a grapefruit, a pink grapefruit, any kind of citrus fruit that you fancy. Um, so you'll need um, a colour for your fruit. You'll need a um, white or a really light pale colour. Um, and then you'll need a colour for your frame. Obviously you could just do this all in one colour if you just fancy having a bit of a textured circle going on. Um, if you don't want to make it as fruit. So that's what we're making. Um, you will need, um, I have done this slightly wrong by the way, um, but I decided I wasn't going to make up another square before coming to do the video. Um, this centre part will be white, um, I did that wrong, that will be white um, when we do it today. Um, all you need is your hook, your scissors and ideally four stitch markers or four paper clips or four small pieces of yarn. Um, something that you can mark some stitches with a little later so that's what we're doing so grab your white or your pale color and let's get started on making a juicy fruit square okay so with your white you want to start with a ring so unusually today i'm going to use the magic ring i know i don't use the magic ring very often but just today i'm going to so pull that through there we go, pull that down. And then we are going to chain two. And this chain two will count as our first half double crochet. And then you want to make 10 more half double crochets into your ring, making 11 stitches all together. So I'm gonna leave you to do those stitches and you'll have 11 at the end. And when you have your 11 stitches, you are going to pull your ring in and slip stitch in the top of that first chain two. Close your round and then pull that center in. And there we go, we have a little circle of white. Okay, so you want to fasten off your white and grab your color for your fruit. Okay, so in my case, I'm going to grab my yellow. Okay, so you're going to join your fruit colour in any stitch you like. Just join it in there. And I'm just going to make a slip stitch there to secure that. Okay, so you're going to make, um, you're going to do what? chain two first of all that counts as your first half double crochet and then you're going to do a half double crochet in that same stitch Oops. let's try that again shall we okay there we go so two half double crochets and then you're going to work around and do two half double crochets in every stitch two in every stitch that was a single crochet I'm getting in the right muddle today <laughs> oh i'm just gonna blame it on the heat again you know that's what us brits do we blame the weather for everything <laughs> blame it whether it's hot or cold so two stitches in each two single crochets in each stitch so you will have 22 half double crochets at the end and when you have 22 half double crochets you're going to slip stitch in the top of your chain two at the beginning there. Oops. Okay, time for round three. Okay, so for our next round, we need to um, continue increasing our circle. So we are going to start with a chain two as our first half double crochet. And then we're going to do another half double crochet in that same stitch. Oh, it's actually a chain, but it's another uh, stitch in there and then we're going to do one half double crochet in the next stitch two in the next and one in the next oops two in that one so you're going to work around doing two in one two half double crochets and then one half double crochet two then one two one two one two one and, and you will end up with 33 half double crochets at the end 
there we go as always slip stitch in the top of your chain too there we go it's my fruity little lemon so next round we're going to do virtually the same as we did only this time we're going to add one uh, one more so chain two for your first half double crochet another stitch in that same spot Ooh, that was a double crochet not a half double crochet wasn't it so half double crochet so it's two in one and then you're going to do one half double crochet in the next stitch and one in the next so this time we're doing two one one two and then one and then one two one one two one one all the way around until you've got 44 half double crochets okay so there we have 44 half double crochets you will um on this last repeat you will not be doing the very last um single crochet uh, sorry half double crochet you'll only be doing one so you do two and then one and just leaving out the very last one okay so this is round five and it's the very last round of our uh fruit colour well for now anyway um, and we are going to do exactly as we've done before but this time it's going to be um, two half double crochets in one and then one two three uh, with one in each so and it's a five stitch repeat this time so chain two of your first stitch do a second half double crochet in the same space same spot and then you're going to do one half double crochet around a second half double crochet and then a third one in each stitch so two one 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 all the way around until you get to the end and you will have 55 half double crochets okay so this is 55 half double crochets fasten off your um, fruit color and then in any stitch grab your white and join with the slip stitch and do a chain one and then when you have your chain one you're going to do a single crochet in that very same stitch and we are going to do nine single crochets around one two three And then you're going to repeat around, you're going to do 10 single crochets. Remember we've got this first one here, so we did that one and then we counted 9, so that's 10. And then 2 in there, so you're going to do 10 single crochets and then 2 in the next stitch, 10 and then 2. And um, you'll slip stitch back into the first single crochet around here. So we'll see you when you finish that round and you have 60 60 single crochets and here we are 60 single crochets later in our white I've fastened off that and I've rejoined my lemon colour in one of the stitches okay and this is our very last round now of um, our actual piece of fruit so you are going to chain one and then do a single crochet in that same stitch and the single crochet is where you're going to do your slip stitch when you come back around there um, at the end and then you're going to do four single crochet one two three and four and then you're going to do two single crochet in the next stitch and you're going to repeat this around so it will be five single crochet one two three four five single crochet around 
and then two in the next stitch. One, two. Follow that all the way around until you get back to the beginning and then it'd be time to fasten off that colour. And here is my lemon now that I've finished all those rounds. And if it's a little bit sort of not quite circular, just give it a bit of a wiggle and um, it will become a little bit more circular. Just give it a wiggle and um, it will become a bit more circular. Okay, so that's your fruity bit. The only thing we have to do on here now is to make our segments. So when I did this orange one, I obviously I forgot to do the white centre. Um, and then I did these surface chains and I went over some of my white here um, which still looks good but it doesn't look quite as good as if we didn't go over that um, hence my husband calling it a propeller <laughs> um, or a windmill or something and because it does make those stand out a little bit more so um, I'm going to do it a different way for you you can do it that way by all means if that's what you'd like to do not a problem um, the way I'm going to do it, you will have a few more ends to sew in, um, but I just think it makes it look a little bit better. So, what we're going to do is grab our white, and for this, what you need to do is not get in a tangle. So, what you're going to do is start in the center. You've got a choice actually, you can start in the centre or you can start on the out, um, on this outer rim. Um, you need to start in your white and finish in your white. And um, you're going to make between six and eight sections, so that will be... Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, yeah. So you'll be doing between six and eight sort of lines here. So it's up to you whether you start in the centre or the outside. I'm going to start in the centre and just pop your hook in any space. So between a stitch, um, pop it in there, grab your yarn and pull through. Okay, so then hold your your um, tail hold that at the back or you could just for now you could secure it to your tail that's already in the center so I've already got my magic ring tail there so just pop that in there and then what you're going to do is pop your hook split my arm there then you're going to pop your hook through into the next row so if I can show you here I'm going to pop it into this next hole and then you're going to pull this yarn loop it over pull it through the front and then through there and you've already made a chain what you want to do is try and go up in a straight line okay as straight a line as you can so go into the next um, row yarn over and pull through that hole there through that chain there and you've now got two chains can you see that there two chains so go into the next hole up yarn over and pull through that stitch pull through the loop and there's your third chain and then go into so still heading upwards so go into the next row up, yarn over and pull through, pull through that loop, there we go, so far four loops I've got there and then I'm going to go into the next row which is my white row and that I'm going to pull through to finish that chain, there we go and then I'm going to go into the next one and What you're going to do is, um, I'm going to fasten this one off now, so, getting in a tangle, so I'm going to pop this through just next to, so just through between the next two stitches, 
and then I'm going to pull this through and through there just like when I fasten off and just pull that through and cut my yarn and then I'm going to pull this through but over to this side where I went through so I'm going to pull it through to here and then I'm going to just grab my hook and pull this yarn through to the back just pull that through and there we go you can hardly see that I did that fast enough there it's through on the back and we're all good there's one of our pieces um, what's it called pith p-i-t-h pith the white bit that's not very nice to eat so there we go that's one piece there so then um, you could continue all the way going from the bottom to the top I'm just going to show you this way um, if you go from the top to the bottom. So I'm going to just start here. Just start a bit further around. It doesn't matter where you start. Um, fruit sections are not always the same um, size. Are they? Anyway, sorry, I'm going through the wrong way. Hook from front to back. Hold your yarn down there. Pull three. It's not as easy going from this direction, but I'm going to show you anyway. Because then I'm going to show you what you can do when you get down to the other end. So, sorry, I'm going off camera there. So, I'm just going to hold this other piece of yarn um, securely, this piece here, the tail. And then I'm going to turn my work around, because I'm going in this direction now. And I've just twisted this all around. And I've got too much, so... Like I said, it is not as easy this way, but it does work. You just have to get yourself coordinated with all your yarn and work it out and then you're fine. So, I'm going to go down to the next stitch as before. Grab my yarn, working yarn, and um, hold that tail secure, pull that yarn through. And there's our first chain. Now that's a bit big, so I'm just going to pull it back a bit there. And um, go into the next row. And pull a loop through. Sorry, I'm getting all a bit tangled. So pull that through. And through that chain there. Go into the next row. The next row there. Pull that yarn through. Pull it through that loop. And there we go. Don't worry about this big one here at the moment. Go into the next row and pull through, pull through that loop. And then go into your bottom um, row, which is your white, and through, and there we go. That's where you are so far. This one here, just pull that up a bit. Don't put it too tight, but just pull that up a bit. And um, you can just sew that in later. Or you could have done a slip knot on your hook if that was easier. So now we're down at this white one here, what you can do is turn your work around and this is where it becomes a little bit easier. You can save yourself a tail. You can see I'm already getting tangled as to where my yarn is. Here we go. Right, so you could just go over to the next um, stitch, pull through and pull through there and then you can work your way up this way so you've only got one in there not one in there one in there and then another one and another one so it does make less ends but it's not as easy to do so this way i'm going to go to the next row up pull through pull through that loop there into the next row up pull a loop through pull a loop through there so you can see it's far easier working this way up but if you did all of them this way you would have more tails so completely up to you which way you find easiest i'm going to go trying to see which way straight so i'm going to go into this one here and then i'm going to go up into this one pull through and then i'm going to do my little fasten off so I go into the next bit next stitch pull through and fasten off just like so pull that over to this side pop my hook through pull this yarn through and there we go 
So we've got three segments so far. You want to um, keep going around until you've got about um, seven or eight sections um, of your fruit. I'll see you back soon. And there we go. I've got seven sections on mine. Um, on this previous one, I just had six. Um, I think I actually can look a little better with more sections. Um, it's a bit more random, like a proper piece of fruit. Um, the one thing you want to make sure of when you do these surface chains is um, is to not pull too tightly because it. Um, a couple of my um, pieces I, I pulled in a bit tight, so it's kind of bunching it up slightly. So just make sure you don't pull those too tight. Um, and then what I've done is I've just sewn in all my ends so far. Um, I've sewn them all in and then um, in the middle here where I had most of my tails, um, I've just knotted them together. And you can't see them very much at all, I just gave them a few knots um, around and then cut the, the ends fairly short. Because um, I'm not sure if I'm going to have the back of this square showing anyway, I'm not sure quite what I'm going to do with them yet. but. They're going to be made into something and it's not going to be a blanket so um, a fruity bag food bag with all my food squares so this is what we've got so far it's not quite circular anymore but it's sort of ish okay so what you need now your stitch markers or your paper clips or um open paper clips that is or um, some pieces of yarn and then what you want to do is just roughly fold it in half I know a circle doesn't have a middle, or doesn't have a, a halfway as such, but just fold it roughly in half and then pop a stitch marker in that stitch that's halfway. Okay, pop that in there. And then pop a stitch marker in the halfway point on this opposite side. It's like a taco now, doesn't it? Tacos. Make you all hungry this week, eh? Hey? <laughs> Okay, so pop a stitch marker in there, so that's two halfway points roughly, and then open it out and then fold it the other way. So making sure these two points are together, so fold it this other way, and then pop your stitch markers in those halfway stitches. And you can probably already guess what this is for. This is um, for making our corners because we've got. Um, 70 stitches and um, I started doing the maths for it and working out what stitches we could put in it and how we could square it off and then I thought you know what let's just let's just go a bit freestyle let's random it so um, randomize it so there we go so these are all roughly equal now um, our four points if you don't like quite where they are then just you don't like where they're going to be with your um, segments and just you know, move them around a bit but make sure if you move one round you have to move them all around okay so we are going to square this little beauty off okay so you want to join your frame color and I'm going to use the same color that I um, framed my orange in just to keep them the same so take your stitch marker out of one of these stitches remember where it's from so I just pop my nail against there pop your hook in there and then grab your yarn do a slip stitch to join that yarn in okay so let's do that slip there we go and then we're going to do our first corner here so you're going to do a chain three for a double crochet and then you're going to do a double crochet, chain two, and two double crochet. Okay, and then you're going to chain five. Ah, <laughs> my stitch marker is making quite a tap tap. <laughs> Okay, chain five, and then you're going to slip stitch halfway between this marker and this corner. There's going to be about seven to eight stitches along, so you could either fold it in half, and then, okay, it's roughly there, or you could count your stitches along. It will be between about seven to eight stitches. 
and then do a slip stitch in this I've got splitty yarn today, which is a bit inconvenient. When yarn splits, it's not easy, is it? Okay, so then you're going to do another chain five. And then you're going to do your corner in this stitch. And then you're going to repeat this all the way around. So your corner is two double crochet, I should have done a yarn over there, so two double crochet, one, two, chain two, and two more double crochet. And then you're going to do your chain five and repeat just what you've done along this side, so chain five, and then slip stitch into your halfway stitch, so seven or eight stitches. Um, and then do your corner and then do another chain five slips, uh, well, chain five, do your corner and then do another chain five, slip stitch, chain five and do that all the way around and then you're going to slip stitch to finish in the top of your chain three at the beginning. So I'll see you when you've got this first um, part of your frame done. And here we go, here's my lemon so far. So what we're going to do now is, now we've got it squared off, we're going to continue to build up our frame. So chain three for your first double crochet. Do a double crochet in the next stitch. In your corner, two double crochets. Chain two and two double crochets, just as we did before. Chain two, two double crochets. Double crochet in the next two stitches. The yarn's creeping up to see us. Okay. Six double crochet in your chain space. Double crochet into that slip stitch, just in the top of that. If you find that a little bit tricky, going into the top of your slip stitch, then just go into the stitch that's below it, the one that the slip stitch went into. That's fine, just do that, it works um, just as well. So if you can't go into that slip stitch, just do that. So then you want six double crochets in the next chain space. Two, three, four, five, and six, and then a double crochet in the next two stitches. These two here, and your corner two double crochet, chain two and two double crochet, and then follow that all the way around, double crochet in each of these next two stitches. Six double crochet in your chain, double crochet in that slip stitch. Six double crochet and keep repeating that until you get back around to the beginning and then you will slip stitch into the top of your chain three and here we go this is almost finished so it should almost be up its size um, to the size that you um, your squares normally come up to so in my case six inches um, so our final round is just around a single crochet, but if you need to do a half double crochet um, or a second round of single crochet, then that's absolutely fine. Do whatever you need to do for your size of your square um, that you need. So we're just going to do a single crochet in every stitch and in your corners, you are going to do uh, two single crochet chain one two single crochet so I will see you back when I've done my final round of single crochets and there we go with our juicy fruit square I have sewn in all my ends and finished it all off all ready to go with whatever I decide to do with it I think I might make a bag 
my food squares. So this is our lemon and here is our orange. So are you making orange, lemon or lime today? Or are you making a grapefruit? Ooh. Fruity, fruity, what's it gonna be? So if you have found this useful and helpful and you've enjoyed crocheting along or just watching along with me, um, please, you know what to do, go click that like button and give us a thumbs up. And um, any comments or questions, leave them in the comments section below. Link to the Facebook group is in that description below too. And um, we'd love to see all your photos. I'd love to see what fruits you're making. And um, yeah, can't wait to see them. So until next time, just keep cooking. And don't let your tea get cold.